Hi, welcome to the Restaurant and Retail Marketing Flash Briefing. I'm your host, Michelle Brisbois. Let's get started. We're looking this week at outdoor dining. Springs around the corner. And as the pandemic turns into an endemic, uh, we can dine inside again. But uh, so many more operations did put out outdoor dining. And you probably want to trot it out again this summer. So we're looking at some trends, according to Restaurant Dive. And uh, trend number one is restaurant prosperity will be prioritized again. And it goes on to say that parklets and streeteries, in other words, you might have stolen a little part of the street outside of your restaurant uh, to create, you might have worked out a deal with the city, and maybe you have uh, just a little patio with 12 or 20 seats out there. And, uh, and so putting that up again this year. And it's it's felt by and large that most uh, municipalities will be willing to work with restaurants to let you continue to have it. So you might want to invest in something that can be assembled, disassembled, if the street needs cleaning or they need the street for some other purpose. Um, but do the math around it. Do the ROI. If you know the value of every seat you offer, for example, what's your average check? Let's say average check is 35 to $50. Table of two is 70 to $100. And if those tables turn once every hour and a half, you can start to do the math around that really quickly and see the value of continuing to have that extra capacity all year round. Um, of course, you'll need to get the labor to serve it. And you might want to have a special outdoor menu that's easy to implement and easy to, to pull off so that it is uh, operationally efficient. Uh, but that's one place to bet in as you start to look at outdoor dining. Talk to you tomorrow. So come on, let's get out.